Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ash and my spirit guide's name is Holly. We have a very exciting reading today where I'm going to be channeling a special message from your spirit guide. However, before we pick cards, if anybody is considering donating to a spiritual exchange or a karmic exchange, please first consider donating to the Black Lives Movement. I'll leave a couple of links down below to places you can potentially donate. You can look them up and see which one fits um, what you believe in the best. So let's get started with this, all right? So for pile number one, we have clear quartz. For pile number two, we have blue calcite. And for pile number three, we have raw quartz. For pile number one, we have clear quartz. For pile number two, we have blue citrine, or sorry, not blue citrine, blue calcite. Blue calcite. And for pile number three, we have raw quartz. So please take a moment and pick whichever pile pops out at you. go ahead and get started with pile number one. So if you need more time, please pause the video. If not, the timestamps are down below. Hello, group number one. Let's find out what your channeled message from your spirit guides is. So I'm going to be completely freshly opening up this notebook because I ran out of space in my other one. I am really excited. I am going to write upside down and then I'll flip it around and show you guys. Also friendly reminder that I do do channeled readings for personal readings. If you would like to requ request a personal channeled reading, please email me at hollyandashtayra at gmail.com. My email is down below, but let's get started. Just gonna ground myself here. Try to get any information I can.
All right, I want to start off by saying that your spirit guides are sending you, or any guides, okay? It could even be a past loved one, is sending you their love. They really just want to let you know that they love you so, so much. And if they could, they would even give you a hug right now, okay? So here's what I wrote for you guys. I know my handwriting is absolutely terrible. I apologize for that, but I am going to read it to you now. It's okay, my dear. Everything is going to work out for the better. Your prayers have been heard. We are sending our love, light, and healing vibrations. We know things are scary and overwhelming right now, but we are sending you our love. You are not alone. Try to ground yourself and do things that will make you happy. Leave the rest to us. We have your back. Know that we have not abandoned you. With love, your guide. I also got the letters W, K, Y, and L. So I'm not sure if those letters mean anything to you or if it's the initials of a past loved one or maybe somebody you've been thinking about or maybe if these are one of your initials. But let's get started with the tarot portion. Letter from Oops. Sorry guys, I, I want to do it so you can see me shuffle, <laughs> but it's so awkward for me to shuffle over this like this. How am I scared, guys? hope everything is in the frame because my camera is towards me so I can't really see but don't worry if it's not because I'm going to hold everything up and show you as we go along. We have a very, very wonderful message here for you guys. Co-create. Please be patient with us. We are co-creating with you. We are listening to your prayers. We're doing everything that we can. We are working behind the scenes, even though you may not see what we're doing. It might be hard right now to see the bigger picture. And we understand that and we understand it can be scary or overwhelming, but just do the best you can. Please know that we're working with you. So work with us. Round and round. We're trying to help you break out of a cycle. We're trying to help you end this cycle, this karmic cycle. You may feel exhausted, you may feel like the same things keep happening over and over again or like good things never happen to you. And we want to break that chain. But you need to put forth the effort and the passion as well, never ending story. You need to help us by tying up your loose ends, by getting rid of all the negative people, all the negative thoughts, all the negative things that you've learned. Let go of that so we can bring new things in. So we can end this cycle. So you can be a lot happier. Yang, when you come out of this, you're going to be so much more passionate about everything. You're going to feel rejuvenated. 
You're going to feel excited. You're going to feel the zest for life. But you need to help us clean it up. I know you may feel tired. I know you may feel beaten down or defeated. But there's always things you can do, even little things. Clean up the space around you. Clean up your relationships. Clean up your mental diet. Clean up the way you think about yourself and the world around you. But you have to understand that if you don't work with us too, then things are going to be a little drawn out or a little harder. We don't want you to overthink and to be upset and to be frustrated and to feel lost or small. We just want you to be happy. So please help us help you because you have a very positive future. You have a very positive near future coming for you. Be generous of spirit. Be generous of us. Say thank you. It's okay to pray to us when you feel sad, when you feel upset, when you feel frustrated, because we're here to help you. We're here to listen to your worries and concerns. But also know that we are working hard for you because we want the best for you. We want you to be your absolute best self in the healthiest environment possible. And we are working hard to help you obtain that. Please don't be hard on us. We have not abandoned you. We love you more than anything. And while some of these lessons may be very harsh and they may be reoccurring, it's only for your betterment. Please know that we really do love you. Whale spirit, trust the great mystery. You may be thinking, but how can I get out of this? How are you helping me? How are things going to work out? I don't see any end in sight. Don't worry, leave that to us. We're going to make things better. It's going to be a mystery to you, but we've been working behind the scenes for a long time. And I think you're going to be very happy with the end outcome. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. It's okay if you can't make any big changes in your life right now. Little steps make progress, even if they don't seem like much. Even if it's just eating healthy for a week, or exercising more, or reading more books, or finishing a project a couple of days before the deadline. Stop procrastinating. These things will help you relax a lot more, will help you ground yourself in the moment, will help you feel a little happier. If you've been wanting to treat yourself, then treat yourself. Don't focus on the big picture right now because there's no way you're going to understand it fully. None of it has unfolded yet. Just focus on what you can do now. Cat spirit, claim your independence. You will get free from this. You will break free from this situation. We are assuring your independence. We are assuring you that everything will turn out amazing, better than you would have ever thought. So please trust us. Please trust that even if things change, and even if it's a mystery to you, that they will be amazing. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. You have gone before, you've gone through this before. If you've never gone through this before, in this life than you have in a past life. Move through this like muscle memory. Move through this with relaxation. Follow your intuition because you know. 
You know exactly what to do. Your higher self is telling you. Even if in the moment you feel lost, that's just your human ego telling you that you feel small, but you're not small. You're an enormous being full of power and wisdom and magic. Allow yourself to tune into that. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. We understand that things may not going the way you thought they would, would or should. But that's only because we thought this was the best way. Because we thought you would learn the best through this. Because we know that once you move out of the situation, once you move towards the light, you are going to be your absolute best self. You are going to be so appreciative of the good times. You're going to have learned so much to the point where you'll even able to help other people. You are so powerful and so brave and we really admire you for that. But just know we're doing everything in your best interest in the moment. And while it might not make sense right now, it will make sense later on down the road. I guess it flipped back in. All right, guys, I just want to say quickly that every once in a while, I feel like my throat is like choking up or like I can't really get the words out. So I feel like some of you guys may feel like you're in a situation where you can't speak up or maybe defend yourself, or maybe some of you need to sort of work on your throat chakra. So look into throat chakra medica medications, <laughs> meditations. <laughs> look into throat chakra meditations on YouTube. And I think there's even ones for like 15 minutes. You don't have to sit there and close your eyes. You can even do it while you're reading or working on something. Um, but that might be beneficial beneficial for some of you guys too. also carrying citrine. I think will also help Horseshoe good luck. Yes. Oh my god. I love to see it You have so much good luck and abundance coming for you and while this this sucks and this is terrible and this is making you feel so down and horrible Better things are coming, and I mean better with a capital B, all right? You're gonna have an amazing life once you get over this. I feel like this is like your final test, your final hump, the final trip over the mountains before it's just clear sailing. That is so exciting. Owl, good advice from a wise person. Reach out to people if you're feeling lost and frustrated and upset. While it is good to come to your guides, while it's good to come to us, you should also seek advice from your close friends and beloved family, people you can trust. Because you can't always see us and you cannot always feel us. If you need physical comfort, then seek it. Because there are people who do not know what you're going through and you do not need to suffer silently. Maybe that's why the throat is blocked. Maybe some of you have been suffering silently for so long. Dog close up. 
Pleasure with a close friend. Try to hang out with your friends again. Try to surround yourself with people you love and adore. Try to have fun. Put yourself out there, even if you don't feel like you should be social right now. You will feel better after you hang out with people. Beryl, you feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Don't focus on what you're lacking. Focus on what you have now. Whatever you're lacking will come to you naturally. If you focus on lack, then you manifest it away. You do not keep yourself open to receiving. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. The people in your life love you. Your friends love you. Your family love you. Anybody who maybe you've been second guessing, or maybe they haven't been giving you so much attention, or maybe you feel like they're losing interest in you, they really do love you. Please don't think your friends hate you. Please don't think the people in your life hate you because it's not true. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. There might be one person who is going behind your back or lying to you. And I know you probably know who this is, okay? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you can't think of this person, please don't worry, all right? This card is only for people who already know who this person is. And if you know who this person is, don't let their actions be applied to everybody else in your life. Just because this person is shitty does not mean everybody else is. Just because you can't trust this person doesn't mean you can't trust anybody else. What this person is doing is hurtful and you have a right to be hurt. You have a right not to trust them, but don't shut down. Don't shut your heart off to love, because that means they win. fiery climax approaches. Everything's about to come to a head. Everything is about to end. Everything is going to be so exciting. You're about to start your new life. You're about to start your new transformation. It's time to wrap things up. It's time to cut off toxic people because you are powerful and strong enough to do so. With our help, everything will go smoothly. Please do not worry about the transaction. Just do the best you can right now. Ground yourself right now. Be the happiest you can right now. And everything else will work itself out. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in the life that you want to have. Have faith in the person you want to be. Because it's all gonna happen. Don't let pride get in your way. Things are not gonna go the way you expect them to go. Things aren't gonna be the way you expect them to be. Whether you fear the worst or you expect the best, it's not going to end up either way. It's going to end up better than you think. So there will be some divine detours. There will be some things you don't expect to happen. Please do not be upset about this. Like I said before, your guides we are doing the best we can to give you the absolute best result. So let go of those notions. Let go of what you think your future is going to be like. Let go of resistance. Because you'll be a lot happier that way. Emotions are running high. What do you need to release? in order to be happy. That's all you need to think about now. What do you need to release to be happy now in the moment? What people do you need to release? What behaviors do you need to release? What foods do you need to release? What bad coping mechanisms do you need to release? 
We know you can figure it out. You're smart. And you are good enough to have whatever you want. You are good enough to have your wildest dreams. And yes, it's not going to happen the way you think it will. But that's just the exciting part. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I try to put out new videos every week, and I love reading your guys' comments. <laughs> all right, please stay safe out there. Um, please uh, relinquish your energy, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hello, my pile number twos. Let's get started with your channeled message from your spirit guides. You find a clean page here. All right. Okay. Let me just get in the energies. Also, quick reminder that I do offer personal channeled readings. Just email me telling me you want one. Um, you can find my email down below. Oh my god, guys. I love your spirit guides. Ugh. They're so happy. They're so fun. I love this. Such a nice energy.
All right, guys, this is what I have written for you. I know my handwriting is not very good, so I'll read it to you. Your spirit guides are so excited for you. You guys have been really putting in your hard work, and I see that here. You guys have been fighting for a long time for something, and some of you guys might feel defeated or like you want to quit, and they want to let you know you are so close. Within the next year, within the next six months, before 2020 ends, I feel like you guys are going to accomplish what you set out to do, okay? So just keep going. So they have written, go, go, go. You are so close to the finish line. You are so close to achieving your goals. We're cheering you on with pom-poms from our realm. They're like your little cheerleaders. It's so cute. We are so excited for you. Keep going. You are, you are closer than you know or think. Don't give up. If you hear ringing in your ears, that is us singing to you. You can do it. Just a little further. Then you'll be at the finish line. We'll be at the finish line to pat you on the back and give you water. Your hard work is paying off. I also got the letters A, B, R, and F. So I'm not sure if those mean anything to you, if they're initials or the name of, maybe the initials of your spirit guide, or maybe the initials of somebody that passed on, or of a current friend or lover, or something like that. Um, I also got the message that you guys need to look for numbers and synchronicities, okay? That you might be seeing feathers, you might be seeing birds, owls I'm getting. Some of you guys might be seeing owls. Um, but look for that as well. If you see repeating numbers, look for that. Truth be told, listen to your intuition, listen to your higher self. You have all the question, all the answers to your questions inside of yourself. You know everything that's going to happen even if you don't know it consciously. Keep that in mind. Time to go in reverse. You may want to quit. You may not know how far you've come. You may not know how fast you're moving forward. But just know that now is not the time to stop. Now is not the time to rest. Keep going because you're almost there. A part of you knows this and you might be nodding your head while watching this reading. Or you might be thinking, ah, oh, but everything my guides are saying here is things I've already known or things I've already felt. That's because we've been telling you. You know all of this deep down. Your higher self knows. You know about all the good things that are coming. You know that all these treats and presents and beautiful wonders are coming into your life. That you're about to have so much abundance. You did the right thing by going your own way. You did the right thing by being yourself. You're about to be happier. You're also about to meet your soulmate. You may have been wondering why love hasn't come into your life for quite a while. Well, it's because you need to regenerate first. Right now, you're not in a good enough place to heal. You're not in a good enough place to have a very stable relationship, but you will soon. As soon as you keep moving forward, as soon as you reach the end of the cycle, 
your soulmate is going to come into your life. Okay, guys, look for the number five and look for the number 11 or 1111 or 555, things like that. Um, but I think the number nine and the number 11 are things you might see more often. But please keep in mind, this is a general reading. So that might be different for everybody. Be here now. Just keep pushing forward. Take every day as it comes. One step at a time. You are moving forward and you are about to leave this cycle. Cherish what you have now because it won't always be here. You're about to move on to another phase of your life. Tend to the small things. Take care of yourself now. Watch what you eat. Watch how your friends speak to you. Watch how you speak to yourself. Clean your room, some of you guys. Some of you guys need to stop procrastinating on projects. <laughs> we have Seahorse Spirit. Watch and wait. Watch and wait because your life is about to transform in front of your eyes. Watch and wait because these things are about to flood into your life. All these positive things, all these, this positive abundance is about to fill your life at a crazy speed. Just watch and wait because things are about to get better. So much better. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Just keep doing what you've been doing. You've been doing really well. You've been working really hard. And things haven't happened as quickly as you thought they would. But that's okay. Because they're about to happen now. Skunk spirit, know your worth. Know that you've worked hard to achieve this. Know that you deserve this. You deserve this more than anybody. You have worked so hard for this. Otter spirit, you are never alone. Again, this is another soulmate card. You guys have a soulmate entering your life that is so exciting. We love you. Your guides love you. You are loved. You are protected. Even if you feel alone, even if you feel frustrated, even if you feel upset, you are loved. Armadillo spirit, you need to start setting healthy boundaries with the people in your life. You need to start uh, setting healthy boundaries for yourself. You'll feel a lot better. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. It's time to end a couple of relationships. And for those of you, if you don't understand what relationships you need to end, um, either it'll become apparent very soon or this message is not for you. Again, this is a general reading, so please just take what applies. I feel like for those of you that need to cut somebody out or for those of you who need to set boundaries, I feel like you already know who this person is. If not, don't worry about it. I'm gonna take a sip of water real quick because it's so freaking hot in my room. Is it hot where you guys are? Let me know down in the comments. It's like, I think it's supposed to be like 85 degrees Fahrenheit today. And like, oh my gosh, I do not have an air conditioner. So I'm dying. I love the cold and I hate the heat. So I'm suffering today. Okay, message from pile number two spirit guides. Whoa, why is it? Hold on a second, guys. Clear some of that energy out. Oh my god, you guys got the success card. Wow, you guys have a lot of really good stuff coming for you. I am so excited for you guys. 
We have Owl, good advice from a wise person. Reach out to the people in your life. Reach out to the people you trust the most and ask for advice. Let them know what you're, you've been going through. Let them know how you've been feeling. Some of you guys might have been attracted to pile number one as well. I'm getting kind of a, a similar vibe. We have sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, fresh start. A fresh start is on the horizon. Passion is on the horizon. New creations is on the horizon. Some of you guys are gonna be getting a new job. Some of you guys are gonna start a whole new life, a new chapter. We have boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Wow. See, you guys are gonna be really well off financially. You guys are gonna be really well off romantically. Like everything is just gonna work out really well for you guys. We have bat, which is take care. Enemies are working against you. So yeah, I mean, I feel like this happens with any glow up or anything where, you know, you start to progress. You start to really get somewhere in life. And there's always going to be people who are going to be jealous of you, okay? Um, it could be this person you need to set boundaries with. It could be the per like somebody you need to kind of cut off. Um, but there's always going to be somebody who's kind of jealous or somebody who wishes they could have what you have. All right? So keep that in mind. Um, when it first starts happening to you guys, be careful who you tell, okay? Because, um, like I said, some people are not going to have your best interest in mind. And you don't want them to know all the good stuff you're going through if they're going to be like that. We have career, okay? Some of you guys are going to have a breakthrough in school or career. That's going to be extremely exciting for you guys. Okay, we have funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. You guys are about to leave this period. You guys are coming out of the bottom of this funnel, right? Like you've gone through all this shit and you're still going to have some frustrating periods. I'm not going to lie, but this is about to end, okay? We have key, which is successful outcome to your problems. Don't worry. Everything is going to play out perfectly, you guys. <laughs> coins money will be coming to you wow you guys are really gonna have like a raise or a new job a new position some of you guys are probably gonna move for this position if you guys have been wanting to live overseas or something yes yes i know quarantine but some countries are starting to open back up you never know either way you guys are going to be financially well off we also have vase secret admirer so i feel like this, um, this soulmate is going to be admiring you from afar for quite a while and they might even already like you or they might even be watching your social media right now. For advice, we have be bold and make the first move. If you feel like some an opportunity has come to you that you should take, then take it. Don't hesitate. Take it. If you feel like it's right, Follow your intuition. Follow what your higher self is telling you. If it feels right in your gut, then it's the right decision. We have communication is key. Open up to those around you about how you're feeling or how you're doing or where you need help. Also, some of you guys, I feel like if you guys have been wanting to move overseas, it's time to learn another language. We have a personal issue reaches resolution. So you're going to know very soon. Uh, we have Gemini and Cancer here. Um, so this is letting me know that you guys might know either this month or next month, the month of June or July. Um, of course this reading is timeless, but I feel like something is going to come out soon and we have nothing is yet in stone. Okay. So if you feel overwhelmed and you decide suddenly you don't want to take this opportunity, that is totally okay. You can take another path. All right. This is letting you know that the choice is up to you. If you feel like this is the right decision for you, then take it. If you feel like it's not the right decision for you, that's okay too. But listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart. 
we have a fiery climax approaches, okay? Something you're very passionate about is gonna pop up and it's gonna come very, very soon, guys. I think within the next three or four months, all right? That is so exciting. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you take care of yourselves. If you, um... All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me when you guys subscribe and I try to put out videos every single week. Um, please take care of yourselves out there, guys. Please um, really focus on your energy and focus on your self-love and self-care because things have been hard. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Hello, my pile number three people. Let's get your channeled message from your spirit guides. Let me just find a blank page here. All right, let me just take in the energies.
All right, guys, here is your channeled message. Um, I know my handwriting is really bad. I apologize for that. It just is. <laughs> I will read it to you in a second, but I want to quickly remind you guys that I do offer personalized channeled readings. My email is down below. Um, so just shoot me an email. Let me know that you want a personal channeled reading and I'll set you up. Um, your spirit guides are really calm and collected and they just really want you to go with the flow, you know? So it says, don't be too hard on yourself. Everything in the present moment is exactly how it should be. Things are not inherently good or bad. They just are. Embrace this time because you'll never have another time like it. Use the future to get excited and use the past to learn, but don't allow yourself to get lost. Love those who deserve it and forgive those who don't. Let go of the weight on your shoulders and let us deal with it. We are here. And then there's just a little heart. I also got some letters, so I don't know if these guys, these letters have any significance to you. Maybe it's the initials of one of your spirit guides or maybe somebody who passed on or maybe uh, a friend or a lover or maybe they could be your initials as well. I have H, E, L, F, and T. So I feel like they just really want you to ground yourself and focus on the current moment. And like they said, like don't get lost in the past or the present. Like not saying don't think about it at all. Like they said, use the present to get excited and the past to learn. But don't overthink things, right? So if you're laying in bed at night, thinking about the past, thinking about things you regret or things that have embarrassed you, this or that, that's not gonna do you any good. Somebody new is going to come into your life. Somebody you don't know yet. Somebody that's not a part of your friends or your family. A complete stranger. They're going to come into your life and help you. Because I see here you've been going through it. You have been going through it, alright? Mending in reverse. You've been having a hard time healing from things because you feel like you're not in a good position to heal. You feel like you're not in a healing environment. You feel like you're not in a positive enough environment. You feel very worried here with never ending story. You feel like it kind of never ends. You feel like you're in this loop, this round and round. You feel like um, you're in a very karmic situation or maybe even a toxic situation for some of you guys. So some of you guys, you're kind of like, oh, like, when can I wrap this up? When will this end? When will I get out of this? How will I get out of this? Because I feel like you guys feel like you're being swallowed up, okay? For some of you guys, this was supposed to be a really good situation, a really uh, positive situation, or maybe like a dream come true situation. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Um, and it just did not turn out well at all. It was not the land of milk and honey that you thought it would be. Uh, maybe there was somebody like stabbing you in the back or maybe somebody didn't have your best interest in mind or I feel like there definitely is like a heavy energy. Like you're in a very bad position um, either at work, at school, or at home. But don't worry, okay? Because your, your guys are letting you know that somebody is coming into your life. And I... <laughs> I know for the other two, I don't know if you guys watched pile number one or pile number two, but I spoke through your guides um, when I got to this portion, but for some reason they just kind of, they just kind of left the building. <laughs> so, um, you know, because I feel like they don't have much to say. 
you know, I feel like they're very straightforward. I feel like they've been communicating with you whether you know it or not. They're probably communicating with you in your dreams. If you hear ringing in your ears or buzzing in your ears, that's them. If you're seeing synchronicities, if you're seeing numbers or feathers or wings or anything like that, that is them, okay? I feel like they are connecting with you. I don't feel like they have a huge, strong um, message that you haven't already known. Um, but just know that somebody is going to be coming into your life and they're going to be helping you through this cycle, okay? You're not going to be alone. Let me see if I can channel your guides again. I'd much rather have it from their mouth. Yes, baby, we have Bat Spirit. A rebirth is assured. Mwah! I love to see it. I am so happy. You have a new start coming. You have a new start coming after this. You are in a spot right now where you can't do anything. All right? That's why you can't look too far into the future or too far into the past because it's not going to do any good. If you're suffering right now, if you're going through a hard time, just try to find the good in it. All right. I know it's easier said than done, but even if you can eat your favorite food, burn your favorite candle, um, take a nice nap, pick a nice flower, whatever it is that you can just appreciate for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, do it. Just take a moment and be like, oh, this flower is so beautiful. Or this candle smells so good. Or, oh my God, all these Oreos, I'm going to eat a sleeve of them. <laughs> uh, whatever it is, whoa. How did that happen? Um, just try to enjoy it while you can. Try to enjoy the little things. Enjoy your time with certain people and things like that. Don't look at the bigger picture, right? Because if the bigger picture is overwhelming to you, if you keep thinking about like, oh, I have to do this, this, and this, and I can't get away from this person, and I can't move out of this house, and I can't do this and this, don't overwhelm yourself with all that. Just do what you can in the moment, all right? And just know that eventually it's going to end. We have chameleon spirit. Act as if. You guys need to do some manifestation. All right, look up Joseph Ally. Um, I'll try to remember to put his YouTube channel down below. But basically, his manifestation techniques literally changed my life. I was so miserable. Um, I'm currently living in a very toxic household. I don't make much money. I, mean, I was just like so, so miserable. I had literally nothing to my name. And um, he's helped me turn things around quite a bit. And so the technique you use is um, grab your notebook, right? And write down things as if they have already happened. And imagine them as if they have already happened in the first person, okay? So when you act as if, if you say, I'm so grateful I got the job of my dreams. I'm so grateful I'm a chef in New York. Or I'm so grateful that I bought my own house this year. Whatever it is, act as if it's already happened to you, okay? And just keep thinking, like, when you get overwhelmed, like, oh, I have to do this and then I have to do that and I have to get away from this person in this situation, just stop yourself catch yourself and stop yourself and be like, that's okay. Because I already bought a house, right? Because if it already happened to you, you're not worried about it. And if you keep thinking that you've already done it, then the universe has to change to your perspective and then you have to actually do it. Does that make sense? So um, definitely check him out. He's really great. He's really amazing. Um, and try to manifest that good stuff in your life, okay? Because you... You feel powerless, but you have power, right? You might feel like you have to give your power away. Like you might be dealing with a toxic family member or a toxic friend or something like that. Um, maybe your family kicked you out. Maybe you, you're, you were alienated from a group or something like that because we have the tribe in reverse. But a rebirth is assured. You guys are going to have another start that's going to be very beautiful and very amazing and very therapeutic for you guys okay and then you'll finally be able to mend your heart and heal but start start really sitting there sitting down and thinking about what do you really want in life figure that out and put it on paper and forget about it 
Oh my god, I have pasta sauce on my Haiti <laughs> roll <grow> cards. <laughs> spaghetti sauce. I don't even remember when I last ate spaghetti. Okay, rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. If you guys wanted to put yourself out there or do something or start manifesting or start a new business venture, now is a really good time to start. This is also letting you know that you're going to be very lucky within the next year, okay? Um, I'm not saying like one isolated incident. Like you guys are going to be continuously lucky and I feel like your abundance is going to pick up more and more and more, all right? So be excited for that. We have mouse spirit. Every single pile has gotten mouse spirit. <laughs> Tend to the small things, okay? Just focus on what you can do now. Focus on taking care of yourself. Make sure you're eating healthy. Eat your vegetables. Go on walks if you can. Take care of your space. Clean your room. Um, take care of your relationships. Wear a face mask. Whatever your self-love and self-help looks like to you. Try to do that. If you're feeling depressed, try to pick yourself up and shower and clean your sheets and things like that. Just do, do the little things, because the little things are important too. We have Dear Spirit, bring, oh, a, bring a gentle touch. So again, as your guides have said in their channeled message, love those who deserve it and forgive those who don't, okay? So when you forgive somebody, you're not forgiving them for their sake. You're forgiving them for your sake because you can't keep holding in all that hatred and all that frustration and all that anxiety and all that sadness. It doesn't mean that you're going to forget what they did. Okay. If they did something really bad, if they're a very shitty person, then, you know, fuck them. But you don't have to keep all of that inside. All right. Forgiveness is for you. That's what this card is about. Oh, well, let's see if that card comes back out. It was another card that I wanted to come out and I accidentally pushed it back in. There we go. We have Owl Spirit. You see clearly now. You guys are about to see the bigger picture. You guys are about to see the way out. Everything is going to fall into place. Everything is going to look amazing. There's somebody who's going to come into your life who's going to give you a leg up and they're going to help you. All right, so just do the best you can until things start unfolding in front of you because you're about to see a clear path and you're about to see your rebirth. All right, we have two cards here. Don't get on my tarot cards. Don't get on my tarot cards. Sorry. <laughs> my brother's dog wants to climb up here. We have Tulip, which is great passion, okay? If you ha guys have a passion for something, if you guys are following your dreams, then keep following them, okay? This is a sign that you're doing the right thing. If you guys have a passion like writing or reading or creating art or um, maybe helping, helping people, um, anything that you're passionate about at all, just try to do that, okay? Because I feel like even if you feel burnt out, even if you feel like you don't want to, try to force yourself to do it a little bit because I feel like it's going to help you feel better. We have handshake, which is a meeting with a stranger could be important. Again, somebody that you don't even know is about to come into your life and they're going to like, I don't think they're going to sweep you off your feet and save you, but they definitely are going to come in and give you the tools that you need to get out of this situation. We have scissors, which is disappointment and some affair. Um, so when I feel like this has to do with a person, again, please keep in mind, this is a general reading. So please just take whatever resonates. Um, you know, if somebody keeps disappointing you over and over again, don't trust them. <laughs> don't trust them. Don't keep relying on them, but don't, don't keep holding it against them. Don't keep thinking about it over and over again because again, that's just gonna hurt you more than them. You're gonna be thinking about them more than they're thinking about themselves, okay? You don't want that. Focus on how amazing your life is gonna be. Focus on your manifestations. We have chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Again, this is putting big, big highlight on that new person who's about to come into your life. Ooh, I love how the sun is just coming out and coming through my window right onto my cards. Beautiful. Yeah, guys, like <laughs> this is like a metaphor. Like you guys are about to have a very enlightening time. 
somebody's gonna come into your life and you're gonna be like, oh shit, this is what I've been waiting for. This is the sign I've been needing. That was my bad. All right, we have gravel, which is involvement with the law. Some of you guys are gonna be signing legal papers. Um, of course, not all of you. I feel like you guys are gonna be, maybe some of you guys are gonna be signing papers on a house or a car or maybe education documents. Um, some of you guys are gonna have things signed over to you. If some of you are in a divorce, I feel like you might finally, like end of the divorce or something like that. Uh, for those of you guys who've wanted to travel overseas and get a visa, I feel like you are gonna be getting your visa. We have marriage. <laughs> um, so marriage can also be business, but some of you guys might actually be getting married. Um, but others of you, I feel like you guys might be getting some sort of business opportunity and these can be business documents as well. We have ink pot, which is problems to be resolved, okay? So don't worry, because all your problems, they're not gonna exist in six months from now, all right? Everything is gonna be A-okay. Everything is gonna be easy, breezy, beautiful. And I feel like you guys are gonna quickly forget all this bad stuff happening to you. We also have throne, position of authority, okay? Some of you guys are getting a raise in your job or you're gonna be meeting somebody in a position authority that's gonna help you, maybe with some sort of legal documents. Um, of course, tarot is not the best for legal advice. <laughs> I would suggest speaking to a professional. Um, but I feel like it's some really good stuff is about to be happening for you guys. You guys are going to be signing something very positive. Anything else? We have bird perched, waiting for news, package your letter, okay? Yeah, so just wait a little bit longer, guys. Your news is coming, this person is coming into your life. Um, either, I feel like they're gonna come into your life when you've given up all hope, when you're like, okay, I don't know what else to do. Um, I feel like you guys are maybe gonna have to wait a little bit longer, some more than others. Oh, something I really noted, though, when I picked these cards, um, for the rabbit spirit, number 49, was just like in my face and I almost read it before I read the card. That's why I kind of hesitated. So 49 might be a significant other, significant number for you. Maybe it's the age of your significant other. Um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So combined, this creates 13. So the number 13 or even the number four might be significant to you as well. Okay, guys, so look out for that. Yeah, I'm sorry this turned from like a message from your spirit guides to like another, <laughs> like they kind of stopped speaking through me. I'm not sure why. They're just kind of like, I said my piece, I'm gonna go. <laughs> that's kind of funny though. I think that's the first time that's ever happened to me. We have adjustments are required, okay? So your spirit guides are letting you know that they're working behind the scenes to make these things come true. You may not be seeing it right now. Um, time for healing. Even though you feel like you're in a place where you can't heal, grow where you're planted, okay? This is the best you have to work with right now, all right? So just do your best. Just tend to the small things. You don't have to do anything major. We have conclusions are within reach, okay? So again, just wait a little bit longer. Um, because this situation is going to end and I feel like the outcome is going to be in your favor, okay? Everything is going to be really positive. And we have it's time to release negativity. Again, if you're mad at somebody, if you're frustrated at somebody, or if you're frustrated at yourself, because what did your... I already forgot what your guide said. Yeah, they said don't get... don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Um, so just know that this situation is not your fault. Whatever it is, it's out of your hands and you're going to have to wait a little bit longer to get out of it. Okay. Somebody else is going to have to come in and kind of intervene, but they're coming. They are coming. All right. Um, and it's going to happen. I want to say within the next four months, it's going to happen. So just hang in there for a little bit longer, okay? And try to release this negativity that you have against people or against yourself because like I said before, it's just holding you down. It's not affecting anybody else. 
Um, and you need to focus on yourself and your own happiness and what's best for you right now, okay? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing. I really love reading your guys' comments, and I love it when you guys subscribe to me. It makes me feel like I'm doing such a good job, and I try to put out videos every single week. Please take care of yourself out there. I know things are really hard right now, and try to uplift yourself and take care of yourself and do the best you can, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.